Welcome back. If you remember, we installed uh, the Press of Th Thrive Themes um, WordPress template. And we set it all up, but we didn't really do any customization. And if you remember, um, the last page, well, the setup page looks like this, which, you know, has the Press of uh, logo and it doesn't have any menu set up. And this is the page. But what we're going to do is remember we're doing this for mainsellemarketing.com which is going to be uh, a, so, uh, an agency uh, here in the uh, Beaufort and Moorhead City, North Carolina, Crystal Coast area. Uh, with well, well, you know, it's going to support actually. It's going to, <clears throat> it's going to support a variety of different areas, but we're located here. So anyway, so let's get going. I want to show you. Um, so this is this is actually the home page as it, as it looks right now. Um, but this is, and let me show you how to get there. So when you, in, when I, in, we, in the last video, and, and I'm going to include that last video below here. Uh, it's video one in the series that I'm going to, there's going to be a whole series on how to set up uh, an entire website for yourself. But anyway, um, so we installed uh, all the, all the plugins um, and the theme, but we haven't really done anything. So here's the options. This is actually the options where you can go in and make different changes. But what I want to do is take a step back. Let's click on Thrive Dashboard. Because what, what each theme comes with a variety of different um, uh, templates. And they're good, to, they're, they're good to use because they look pretty good. But you could use them as starting points and then do the com customization from there. Um, so, actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to pause this video, fill this information in, because some of the pages that are generated will have this information. So give me uh, one sec. Thanks. Okay, we're back. So I went ahead and filled in all this information here, um, because the pages are going to be generated. Um, I'm just going to update information. And so... Uh, so when we do the, the privacy and disclaimer pages, they'll be set. So what we're going to do is these are the templates that come with it. I'm just going to go ahead and check all. What we'll, we'll just won't, you know, we'll delete what we don't use. And then we want to make this stuff editable with the Thrive Content Builder, which is uh, something that you'll want to do. And then we'll just generate the selected pages. And what it will do is bring all these pages into the, uh, set up, actually set up the pages in, in, in WordPress for you. Uh, and then you can go in and, and customize them as you see fit. Um, all right, it's taking a little time here. Oh, here we go. So, so all the pages has been have been brought up. Let's take a look at let's take a look at home page three. All right, so that's that design for that. It's looking a little better than the original design. Let's take a look at two. Uh, like this. This is this is one I'm going to probably use, and we'll make some changes there. And let's take a look at homepage one. All right, so that looks pretty good. What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use two. So we'll go ahead and set up the edit there. And I just call it main sale. Setting this up. And we're going to come in and do, this is this is the Yoast SEO, where we can uh, set up a focus keyword. We'll we'll do that later. That's going to be in another video. But I just want to get things set up so it starts looking better. Okay, so if we go now, um, let's set this up. Hang on a second, I'm going to take a look. Uh, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna make this the, the home page. Um, let's just to change this for now.
and it's going to be an agency. So website website design and branding. Mobile apps. Social media management and public public relations for the uh, small to medium enterprise. That might be might be good. We'll see. Now I'm gonna go. I might go in and customize all of this, but let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna show you too. Um, there's a way to to help improve your speed of your site. Um, some functionality built in built in with the Thrive themes, but there's also some other things you can do. In fact, I'm gonna go up here and go to optimize optimizezilla.com. And then I have a file set up that I'm, I'm going to use as a placeholder. And let's see, I think it's up here, Crystal Coast Cover. So what I'm doing is I'm optimizing it now, compressing it. And so I'm trying to keep the quality, but make it, make, make, make it so the file's not so big. We'll go ahead and download that. And then when I go back to our site, and I'm not sure how this is going to look, but let's go ahead... And so you want to, remember that page was up for that? Let's, re, let's remove that page. Because we, remember, we've got to customize it to our site. Let's set it up. Now, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm actually loading. This is the file as it's converted, so it's been minimized. Let's upload that into the, uh, uh, for all the images. And let's set that as featured image. And you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look and see what it looks like so far. It should be getting a little better. All right. So it's so it's looking a little better. Um, let's see. All right. Not completely, not completely one of them, but it's obviously, it, but it's obviously looking better. And you know, we're serving the market. And this is actually a picture that was taken um, uh, by me. Uh, I was at the beach the other day, which is you know ten minutes away from here. So um, let's go back in, and I want to show you. So we've got the basics done. So I want to go back into the Thrive dashboard. Let's go back into the dashboard, and I did. I'm not the dashboard, I'm sorry, the th options. So now we can start making some changes. So um, let's go in. I, I already set up some logos for this site. So let's let's remove that one. Let's remove that one. Let's go for the light one. Let's go find the light one. I'm going to upload that. Um, good, good. So let's go, where did I put that? I think I put it downloads. I think this is the light one. We'll see. Yeah, it is. Select that. Now let's go and upload the dark logo. And this this uh, this provides so if you have a dark page or you're scrolling, uh, it goes from dark to light. Uh, it makes the adjustment for you, which is pretty cool. And let's go. Here's the dark one. Let's select that. Now. Uh, Logo position on the side. I can put the telephone on, which I'm going to probably do since we are going to be uh, service oriented. Let's change this. And I don't want I don't want these links. So I'm going to close that out. Copyright 2017. Domain Marketing Group. And then you can go in and make, change the functionality for the for the phone, and I'm not going to mess with that right now. Um, those are small tweaks that will need to be made. So, in fact, you know what? For now, I'm just going to 
I'm going to turn that off. Um, global settings, Brent, Brent, relative time. So I'm going to save these changes. And I'm going to keep going. We've got, uh, we've got some pages we need to set up, um, but I'm going to keep going and still work on this, this, uh, the front page. So right now it's green. Let's change it. We'll change it to blue and see what that looks like. Um, so default. Now, I, you know, what I do is I go in and tweak these things. Uh, float on scroll. Let's see what that looks like. I like, I like that. Um, so I'm going to go over now. It's saved. Now I'm going to go back over here. Refresh this page. All right. So yeah, that looks that's looking a little better. Ah, uh, okay. Now let's go. I want to go change. Let's go change. See what floating does. And this and this is for <clears throat> the top. Where the logo is and the menu is going to be. Let's refresh. All right, so then, it, so that you see that, so it's it. That's the upload of the light logo, and then you scroll. It has the uh, dark logo. So I'm going to keep that like that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to keep like that for now. Um, so let's go in and set up some pages. Like I said, I don't want to make these videos too long, um, but I do want to um, <clears throat> improve, show some improvement uh, with videos anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes long. So um, we can go down through the blog settings, wide. I'll show you what that looks like as we get to the blog section. Um, background color, we'll leave that. We're just going to leave this stuff for now. I'm going to turn the post date off. Uh, I like things to look evergreen um, and current. As soon as you put a date on something a year later, even though it's pertinent information, people could discount that because it looks like it's a year old. So um, post content. So like, right now, this doesn't mean much. So I'm going to actually back out of, well, I'm going to back out of this. We're going to go set up some pages real quick. So we'll go over here, add new. So we know actually I did a list let me see let me see all right so I'm gonna do about publish services Publish Contact Publish And what else did I say? So I got about services Contact us. So I need blog and our work. Um, and the, re the reason why I'm doing that is because, um, you know, we're going to have a variety of different offers. We're going to have website design uh, and updates. We're going to have social media management, uh, branding, uh, public relations, um, and uh, mobile apps. We're going to build mobile apps for the local market here. Um, we're going to have uh, VoIP for business, or VoIP phone systems, save, save tons of money on... Uh, phone cost and phone charges. So what did I say we need? Okay, our work. Hmm, how about portfolio? Portfolio, is that right? Spelled right? Yeah. All right. I think that sounds a little better than our work. And then we'll set up a block. A block. And then what I'm going to do is I just wanted to set these up. I'm not going to do anything. Um, let me just show you what they look like. Uh, I think it, I think it'll be worth your while to see. Um, I'm going to just hit the view page here. 
So this is what it looks like. You know, there, obviously there's a lot that needs to be done about it, but that's but it's a good good starting point. So let's go back. I'm gonna I'm gonna basically want to set up that menu right there. Uh, let's see if we can't get back in there. So now we're gonna go down here to appearance. Oh, good goodness, menus. And we're going to do uh, top, top main menu, we'll call it. We'll create menu. And manage locations. Let's go back over there. So primary menu will be top main, and then we'll do a foot or two. Uh, save changes. Let's go back up to the menu. And so what we want to do is we want to have about, services, contact, portfolio, blog. You know, as you go, you might you might want to add more. So let's just add that to the menu. And let's just change this around a little bit. Services. Portfolio, blog, and contact. All right, let's save that menu. And let's go take a look and see what how it's looking now. All right, so we got the pages set up, and we can customize these a little bit. Um, but I think they look pretty good. They're a little bit unassuming. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up a list of our services. So... That's the basic design for the home page. Um, and so it's starting to come together. It's starting to look a little better. And uh, hopefully you like that. And um, so I'm going to make this, I'm going to stop this video now and make it short. And then I'm going to do the next level where we start going in and customizing the individual pages and kind of setting some, some more things up. Like I said, I don't want you to have to spend it to you. But, but listen, there, so this is, this is, um, this is the press of theme. And you, you can see how flexible it is and the customization you can do with it. So um, what I have is I have a couple bonuses that if you decide that you, this is something that you want to use, um, they have, I, I don't know, maybe five, six different really high quality themes that are awesome. I've used about four of them um, for different niche sites that I have. And there's a whole uh, list of plugins that add all kinds of um, functionality to your your site. I mean, what, what the name of the game for these sites are, is to increase your conversions, and you know whether it's an opt-in, whether it's uh, you know taking a customer from being a prospect to becoming a customer. Uh, that's the goal, right? The conversion goal. Well, these plugins and these themes are completely designed to be look incredibly professional and designed to do that. So, if you're watching this video on YouTube, look look below into the notes uh, notes section. I'll have a link to uh, to the bonus video where you can grab uh, a bonus, which is pretty damn cool. That will help you support your business with what you're doing. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Hopefully this has been valuable. If you liked it, please like, share, and comment. And do me a favor. If you're currently not a subscriber, please subscribe. And uh, we look forward to uh, working with you and sharing some more videos. So thanks a lot. Bye.